name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how do scientists know the mass of Mars. So uh, there is a trick that is actually really handy to know is that and um, that we have an equation that gives us from simple derivations um, how massive is a planet if it has a moon. So moons are kind of easy to track. It's kind of if you know the mass of the moon uh, you can quickly get to the mass of the planet. You can also know by how um, far it is from the, from the planet and the rotational period of that moon, which are things that are kind of easy to see. Uh, so then let's start with like some basic equations. And from that, we're going to move on to how do you get that mass? I'm not going to solve it numerically, but I'm going to give you the equation and then you can plug in the numbers and you can see it for yourself. Uh, but this is the general technique to estimating the mass of a planet that has a moon. Here we start with a gravitational force. Uh, we have g, our gravitational constant. Uh, let's call this the mass of the moon. And capital M for the mass of the planet. And this is the distance between them. Now, we know that it's orbiting if the, orbital, if the orbit is elliptical. And most moons have elliptical orbits, but they're so close to being circular that approximating it to a circular orbit will actually give you very, like a very close answer. Uh, we can look at the centripetal force and we can get to this force is equal to mv squared over r and we can make this two equal. So now if we have g m m r squared equal to mv squared over r. We also know that this factor v square over r, we can use the rotational period and have um, r omega square. So we can actually turn this part of the equation equal to m r omega square. We also know that omega is equal to 2 pi divided by the period. So this is the period that it takes the moon to go around the planet. Now, putting all of this together, we can uh, get a new relation. So g m m over r square is equal to m r, and then we'll plug this in for omega square. So we have 2 pi divided by t square. Now, as you can see, we have the mass of the moon on both sides, and we can cancel this out. And now let's move everything together and solve for this m. This m is what's crucial. So if we put all of this together, the mass of the planet is equal to r cubed uh, 2 pi over the period square divided by the gravitational constant. And this is your equation for finding the mass of a planet that has a moon. Now, if you plug in, you can, Mars has two moons. It has Phobos um, and Deimos. So you can actually plug in the, the period and the distance away from Mars, and you will get the mass of Mars. And it's a nice little exercise that you can try. I tried to illustrate the basic equation so you can do it for any planet you like that you know it has a moon. Uh, and the actual mass of Mars, just to have a numerical answer, is 6.4 times 10 to the 23 kilograms. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how scientists know the mass of Mars. Mm -hmm.